Hello, hi my dear children, I'm Dr. Vani and on behalf of Vedanto, I welcome you all to another super cool, super amazing and absolutely awesome session that we're going to take right now, right here on this amazingly cool platform that is none other than Vedanto YouTube channel, yes, and to get admission onto the most coveted, the coolest examination of the country you've got to clear that is the AIMS, the All India Institute of Medical Sciences New Delhi examination. So today I'm there in front of you with another set of tough and challenging MCQs in the form of assertion and reason and very, very, very challenging set of the general knowledge questions. Yes, my dear children, I hope you know you're getting greatly benefited by our AIMS series of assertion and reason, be it for physics, chemistry or biology. So many of you write to me every day. I'm so thankful to you for writing to me every single day. So many of you have contacted me through Gmail, you've contacted me through YouTube comments, you've contacted me through Instagram, or you've contacted me through, um, you know, Facebook. I'm so thankful to each one of you. I hope our endeavors, I hope hum jo kuch bhi kara rahe hai, unse aap logon ko fayda ho raha hai. Yes, because it is being done for you. Like I always say, my dear children, with Vedantus of the students, by the students and for the students. If there is anything, if there is anything that you want me to do, so many of you have asked me to give some topics for webinars because you are following our webinars. If there is anything that you want us to do, please comments me likh daliega. Tell us, we will do the needful for you. Yes. So, chali shuru karte aaj ki dhamakedar super awesome class. Yes. Or assertion and reason start karte hai. Chali. So we are going to do assertion and reason for biology. Chalo, okay. Assertion and reason. Aaj ki class mein photosynthesis or respiration pe bohat zada assertion and reason hai. Photosynthesis and respiration are easy topics. Agar aapko photosynthesis or respiration mein koi problem hai, to Vedanto Meet channel pe I have made YouTube lectures on photophosphorylation. Right, which is a very important topic. Is pe bohat MCQs aane ke chance hote hai. Assertion reason bhi aane ke chance Hote hai. Right, so this is our assertion and reason that we are going to do. Chali shuru karte. Aapko ye bhi pata, I've been telling you in every class, if both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion, option will be A. If the assertion and reason are true and reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion, answer will be B. Assertion is true but reason is false, answer will be C. And both assertion and reason are false, the answer will be D. Cool? Chali hai. So let's come to this question. Ubiquinone is one of the important carrier of respiratory electron transport system. Yes, ubiquinone is very important because it prevents atherosclerosis. What is atherosclerosis? Ubiquinone jo hai, wo arteries ke andar kisi bhi ka lipid cholesterol jamne se bhi rokta hai, cardiovascular diseases se protect karta hai. It is otherwise also a very, very important product in the human body. Is that clear? Carrier of respiratory ETS, reason ubiquinone helps in oxidation of both NADH and FADH2. This statement is absolutely correct. Right? Dono ko oxidation karke ATP produce karne mein madad karta hai. It's a very important carrier of electron transport system. Not only is it important important carrier of electron transport system. It also is very important because it prevents your body from oxidative damage. It stops atherosclerosis. It stops cardiovascular diseases. So both the statements are correct and reason is the correct explanation. Cytochrome C mobile carrier hai bilkul thik hai. Ye ek ferrous based compound hota hai. It contains ferrous. Ye bhi exam mein aa sakta hai. Right? Cytochrome C is a ferrous based compound. It's a very important mobile carrier. It is in between the outer and the inner mitochondrial membrane. It helps in transport between 4 and 5 is wrong. It helps in transfer between 3 and 4. In dono complexes ke beech mein transfer karta hai, na ki 4 and 5 ke beech mein. So assertion is a right statement and reason is a false statement because 4 or 5 nahi, ye 3 and 5. 4 ke beech mein karta hai. Is that clear everybody? So it does between 3 and 4. It is a mobile electron carrier. It is made out of ferrous. Done? Next question on your screen please. Tropical rainforest, jaysay hamari country mein Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland. Yes, yaha dekhe jate. Or we can even say the Amazon rainforest. 
So tropical rainforests are rich in species diversity. They have a lot of rainfall. Their productivity is very high. Temperate forests only have, you know, you could say Himachal ke lower areas, Punjab. These are temperate forests. Jahan pe do season aate hai. Yahan pe deciduous plants hote hai. Patajhar dekhi jati hai, right? So they have the summer season and the winter season. So, but obviously tropical rainforest means hum evergreen forests ki baat kar rahe. Kis ki baat kar rahe? We're talking about evergreen forests. That is why I have named the northeast states of the country, right? Western Ghats also for that matter are evergreen rainforests. Tropical rainforests are rich in species diversity than temperate forests. Yes, temperate areas were in the polar regions, north pole, south pole. So, there were bar bar glaciarizations hoti thi. because of glaciarizations, cold, summer, cold, summer or extended cold. So, bohat sari species extinct ho gayi. So, because there are glaciarizations are very common in the temperate region, it is absent in the tropical forest and because of which, because of frequent glaciarizations in the temperate forests, which were not present in the, you know, tropical forest, there are less number of species. Bilkul theek hai. Tropical ki species diversity zada hai, glaciarization nahi hoti hai. Frequent glaciarizations hoti hai, temperate region mein, jiski wajah se species jo hai, wo bohat kam ho gai. Absolutely right. Good question. Should we move on to the next question? Yes, chaliye. Next question on your screen now. In electron transport system of respiration, oxidation of one carrier and reduction of another. We're talking about redox reaction. Ye to hota hai. It's a very integral part of electron transport system. It's a redox reaction. So oxidation of one carrier and reduction of another carrier is essential. Yes. In respiratory electron transport system, energy of oxidation reaction is proton gradient hai. Complex number 5 se proton gradient se pehle proton gradient establish ho gaya 1, 2, 3, 4 se. Complex number 5 jisko hum ATP synthetase kehte hai. Uske through I'm pumping the H plus inside. When I pump the H plus inside from, dekho bachcho, ye mitochondria hai. Right? Ye space hai between the two mitochondrial membranes. Is space ke andar H plus accumulate ho gaya hai. Aur H plus ko mein andar ki taraf pump kar rahi hoon. कहां से पंप कर रही हूं कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर 5 से तो यही तो वो प्रोटॉन ग्रेडिएंट है और कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर 5 से जब मैं उसको अंदर पंप करती हूं आई एम एबल टू प्रोड्यूस एटीपी बाय जॉइनिंग डीपी एंड आईपी विद द हेल्प ऑफ एंजाइम कॉल्ड एटीपी सिंथेटेज तो ये क्यों हो रहा है बिकॉज़ ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन नाम का रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन चल रहा था जिसकी वजह से आई हैव बीन एबल टू पंप डीएच प्लस आउटसाइड सो बोथ एसर्शन एंड रीजन आर ट्रू एंड रीजन इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द एसर्शन Mercury, cadmium, bismuth, copper, lead, they're all considered to be heavy metals. Yes, lead is a lot of toxicity kar deta hai because body may accumulate. Ho jata. It is heavy metal. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. These elements are called heavy metal. Why is heavy metal? Hai? Because in sabki density is more than 5 gram per centimeter cube. 100% correct. Mercury, cadmium, copper, lead are regarded as heavy metals. Their density is more than 5 gram per centimeter cube. So this is the correct explanation. Answer will be A. Done. A total of 10 NADH and 2 FADH2 molecules are formed in aerobic respiration. Okay, taken. NADH will give you 3 ATP. Correct. 2 FADH. 1 FADH will give you 2 ATP. Can it help produce 34 ATP molecules? Only this? No. Saath mein ATP bhi to hoga. Plus ATP bhi to generate hota hai. So, still, we don't have 34 ATP. Nahi bante hai. Assertion is true. Reason is false. Is that clear, everybody? There is free ATP also which is produced because NADH to aapko sirf 3 ATP de raha hai. FADH to aapko 2 ATP de raha hai. 1 FADH to. In se akele se 34 ATP generate nahi honge. In anaerobic respiration, one of the end products is organic compound. Lactic acid ban jayega, accumulate hokar. Right, so one of the end products is ethyl alcohol. So it is an organic compound. There is incomplete breakdown. Yes, because you are going to release carbon dioxide. You are going to make C2H5OH, right? Or you are going to make lactic acid. There is incomplete oxidation, right? Organic compound hai, because incomplete oxidation ho rahi hai. statements true hai. Incomplete oxidation ki se organic compound banega. It is the correct explanation of the assertion. How cool, how simple and how easy hai aaj ke assertion and reasons. Yes, respiratory question humne kal bhi kiya tha. 
राइट right? कितनी एनर्जी मिलेगी ग्लूकोज का रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन हमने परसों की क्लास में किया था ये डिपेंड करता है सबस्ट्रेट पे रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ फैट्स रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोटीन रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट सबका अलग होगा दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन कितना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है और कितना ऑक्सीजन यूज किया है रेशो आएगी लाइक ग्लूकोज की रेशो वन होगी सो रेस्पिरेटरी सबस्ट्रेट का सी और ओ हर किसी का अलग है कितना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज हो रहा है और कितना ऑक्सीजन कंज्यूम हो रहा है डिपेंड्स ऑन एवरी सबस्ट्रेट सबस्ट्रेट वो होता है जिससे हम काम कर रहे हैं So, हर किसी की सी और ओ की वैल्यू अलग है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इवॉल्व एंड ऑक्सीजन कंज्यूम्ड सबका अलग अलग है दैट इज व्हाई रेस्पिरेटरी क्वेश्चन डिपेंड्स ऑन सबस्ट्रेट बिकॉज एवरी सबस्ट्रेट विल रिक्वायर डिफरेंट अमाउंट ऑफ ओ यूज अलग करेगा ओ मतलब अलग इवॉल्व करेगा और ओ अलग यूज करेगा कार्बन अलग इवॉल्व करेगा ओ अलग यूज करेगा सो इट इज डिफरेंट फॉर ईच मेंबर फॉर प्लांट रेस्पिरेशन देर इज नो नीड ऑफ स्पेशलाइज रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन जैसे लीफ आपको पता है है सिंगल चीज टोमेटो से रेस्पिरेशन कर लेता है। जो स्टेम है वो लेंटी सेल से कर लेती है राइट right? और जो आपके रूट्स है वो रूट हेयर से कर लेते हैं प्लांट्स आर नॉट मोबाइल दे आर नॉट लाइक एनिमल्स प्लांट्स आर नॉट मोबाइल दे आर नॉट लाइक एनिमल्स दे वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एनिमल्स इज दैट क्लियर सो दैट इज वाई बिकॉज यू के नॉट मूव दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एनिमल्स देयर डिमांड देयर नीड इज वेरी डिफरेंट उनका मेटाबॉलिज्म बहुत स्लो होता है वो कोई हाइबरनेशन जैसा काम नहीं करते हैं राइट right? मोबाइल नहीं है सो दे आर डिमांड्स आर वेरी लेस There is no need of a specialized respiratory organ like lungs. उनको ऐसे respiratory organ की जरूरत नहीं होती है because उनको बहुत ज्यादा oxygen की भी जरूरत नहीं होती है Why? Because their demand for gaseous exchange, their demand for oxygen is very less because they are not mobile. बहुत ज्यादा metabolism नहीं करते हैं They do not show great demand for gaseous exchange. Therefore, उनके पास specialized respiratory organ नहीं है Motor vehicles equipped with catalytic converters. Should use unleaded petrol because जो lead होता है वो converters को block कर सकता है जो lead है वो catalytic converters को block कर सकता है इसीलिए उनको unleaded petrol ही use करना चाहिए so both the assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation for the assertion cool everybody any doubts easy questions in today's class yes Let's test your general knowledge. Cool, nice question, but a tough question. Yes, new notes. Sab ko pata hai, par unki values, unka yes. What is the size of the new five? Ye jo golden wala chala tha, ab to ye ban ho gaya. Yes, ab to naya two thousand aa gaya hai. Correct, everybody. Jo ye five hundred ka new aaya tha, tab ka question hai. So what was the size? Sixty six mm into hundred and fifty. TMM was the size. Yes, which of the following countries or group of countries are known as G3 economies? India is not a part of the G3 economies, right? India is yet not a part of the G3 economies. It is US, European Union, and Japan. It's like a trade community, right? they have trade pact trade community hai known as the g3 economies right now what is bimstec which of the following countries is not a member of bimstec like burma indonesia myanmar aise countries hai bataiye seychelles taiwan bataiye 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 kaun si country part nahi hogi china is not a member of bimstec is that clear right okay which of the following is the headquarters pata hai kya bimstec headquarters is in dhaka dhaka in bangladesh is the headquarter of bimstec cool south asian countries ka ek group hai which of the following places is not a site for india's currency notes printing press nasik mein hai i've been to mysore i've been to nasik in jagah hai so you should be confused between salbani and jhansi nasik mein to printing press bahut badi hai it's a big big press mysore mein hai where is it not there it's not there in jhansi salboni mein hai mysore mein hai mysore nasik has but jhansi does not have which of the following is the most commonly used chemical for ripening of mangoes in india aapne dekha hoga when new mangoes come sometimes when people have mangoes they usually have loose motion they usually have ulcers in the corner of their mouth because a chemical is used it is not put iodine nahi hai So which is a chemical which is used? It is calcium carbide, right? Calcium carbide, जो है, वो oxygens acetylene बनाने में मदद करता है, ethylene बनाने में मदद करता है, जो कि fruit ripening करवा 
देता है सो इट हेल्प्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एस्टिलीन इट हेल्प्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इथिलीन व्हिच हेल्प्स इन फ्रूट राइपनिंग सो दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू अ वेरी स्मॉल शॉर्ट स्वीट क्लास वी हैव बीन एबल टू फिनिश टुडेस क्लास इन वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज़ हम रेगुलरली कर रहे हैं सो वी काइंड ऑफ नो व्हाट आर द एसर्शन एंड रीजंस एंड वी हैव बीन एबल टू सॉल्व इट वेरी वेरी क्विक सो दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू अनदर सुपर कूल क्लास थैंक यू सो मच फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ आवर हार्ट माय डियर चिल्ड्रन यस for any kind of information please don't forget to follow us on various social media platforms vedantu has uh, you know presence on all social media platforms where we keep on sharing quizzes and information which might just help you in your examination still then my dear children till i come tomorrow with another super cool and super awesome session take good care of yourself i will see you in the next class please write down in the comment section if you need any other help i'll be more than happy to help you yes bye bye take care god bless you do well tada bye